hey what's going on my friends in this video we are gonna take a look at my personal transunion account here in credit karma and as you can see we are looking at my credit card usage this is one of the six components that factor into your credit score credit card use as you can see credit card usage is what you guys really want to keep below as you can say 30 percent of your credit limit is what is generally recommended now a lot of times people are like oh i got a big credit card i can just go out and splurge i'm gonna use i'm gonna max this bad boy out and i'm gonna just ball i'm gonna ball to the wall fortunately when you do that you're killing your credit score specifically your credit card usage because you're maxing out the amount of credit you have access to which is completely just crapping all over the whole 30 percent rule and as you can see i'm not making this up we're here on credit karma specifically looking at transunion and it says using less than 30 percent of your credit limit is generally recommended and i've actually always been someone who i, I shouldn't say always because i had a period of time where i was you know i was new to credit cards myself kind of got overwhelmed got a little excited did everything i just said people might do then i had to learn i had to work my way out of the hole i dug myself into and now i'm in a much better place but my rule of thumb is and they specifically are saying it here is that you actually want to try to keep it to under 10 percent not just 30 percent now they specifically have these three what to know pointers that i want to share with you guys again this is credit karma transunion my actual account you can see 20 21% of all of my credit card usage is what I'm currently taking up. Not currently, this is just what's their latest update, but it's less than this. <laughs> but 21% of my, this says $27,900 is what is being utilized, is how much credit I've, I'm taking advantage of right now. And I've purchased things on credit. So I have access to most of my money, majority of it, almost 80% of the credit limit, credit line that I have access to is there waiting for me to use it when I need it. Now that said, this is still a little high. It's over the 10%. Let's look at the what to know really quickly. Number one, it says credit card use matters most for each individual card. Now this is something that I knew but wasn't really how do you say i wasn't entirely thinking about it or i was but like i had a little slip up so to speak and i primarily use one card which is my my chase card because of the reward points on that card and so and it also has the largest credit line i believe on that card as well so it should be easy to see how one might get a little caught up with overspending and exceeding that 30 percent rule um, that we just laid out for ourselves but most importantly number one is credit card use matters most for each individual card not just your overall credit card usage so this is where i'm i i like i said a moment ago my main card which is my biggest credit limit also has my reward points on it is the main card i use so occasionally i will kind of not max out but reach that 30 point a uh, 30 percent mark or exceed it and that's not what you want to do and that's why they're letting you know right there at number one credit card use matters most for each individual card not just the overall total credit card usage number two the average use across all your cards is important too so this was what i actually kind of was thinking was number one in my mind that the usage of all of your credit cards combined together is what is number one is what is most important but it's not actually the case it's actually number two behind your individual cards Number three, try to stay under 30% or under 10% is even better. And remember, you don't need to carry any credit card debt to build your credit. There's this myth that people are like, you need to have a little money, a little credit card debt carry over each month. I don't know who started this myth. I wouldn't be surprised if it was some credit lender and they secretly put on one of their employees to tell like, I don't know. But like, it's just like, where did this come, up, come from that you need to have debt carry over each month to build your credit? That is not true. But you do want to use your cards. You want to put them to use and then just pay them off. That's what's going to help build your credit. 
thinking about that 30%, try to stay under it. And if you need to go over it, well, keep in mind, they see all of that and it's not going to help your credit score if you're thinking about or if you're focused on or if you're interested in actually building your credit score. And like I said a moment ago, having it under, and as you can see right there, under 10% or 15% is perfect, this clutch. If you can have it, if you can keep it low as possible, go up to 10%, you know, 5%, that's money because you're using your card. If you have reward points, you'll benefit from the reward points, but then you won't have to worry about paying interest in any, as they just mentioned, you don't want any debt carrying over to the next month because it's not really going to be anything that's going to benefit you, you know, in any good way. It's only going to put you in a position where you're spending more money because you have to pay that interest. So like I said a moment ago, you know, and their karma pro tip over here says if you lower your balances to $2,500, your utilization rating would move up to the next level. And I believe if lowering it that much, cutting it basically in half, essentially will cut our from 21, that'll bring us down to about that 10% or 9% in which it's gonna bring you here to this top kind of tier, this top kind of area zone that is where you wanna be. This is gonna help your credit score in terms of the credit card usage, utilization factor increase and be as good as possible because you want it to be in that zero to 9% area. This is what you want to consider. This is what you want to do. Keep it beneath 10%. If possible, if you need to go over it, that's fine. But try not to exceed 30% usage on your credit cards. Like we covered in those three steps. Number one is your individual cards matter. And this is where I am being, uh, I guess you can say penalized most. And one recommendation I have for you guys, one suggestion I have for you guys, which is what I'm going to start to be more considerate about is spreading out your usage of your credit cards and being strategic about which cards you use and when you use them. Right now, I primarily have one card. I have two cards that give rewards, but I pretty much use one card for most of my purchases just because it's easiest for that card. That card um, that card um, also has the largest credit limit. So I know that, hey, I pretty much can just use this card. You can pay it off as much as possible or pay it off in full each month but that doesn't always happen and sometimes the balance does carry over and like i said a moment ago because of its credit limit it's like oh, it seems fine but you have to remember the individual cards matter as well and you want to keep even on an individual card level you want to keep them under 30 percent or under 10 percent i think on that card that i use most it's just over 30 percent not much just barely so it's one of those things where the thought is the next move is I need to get better with actually utilizing my other card that gives reward points as well. Then I will be spreading it out over a few different cards. I'll still be keeping the total credit usage under 30%. It'll still be at that 21%. However, I would have two different cards that are managing or overseeing this credit usage of almost $6,000, which would then allow each of those credit cards to individually be under 30%. So you got to be a little strategic when it comes to trying to build your credit score while also benefiting from all of the different credit cards that have been made available for you and I. So I'm going to wrap it up there. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I will be creating a lot more credit, um, credit score, credit card videos on my brand new channel, Make Manage Grow Money. So definitely be sure to check that out if you haven't yet. A ton of different content helping you with making money, managing that money budgeting of course and growing that money investing retirement planning i'm starting a new business having multiple streams of income that's what it's all about so definitely check out that channel because i do think a lot of you guys will find it helpful especially as i start to make more credit card content for that channel as well but let me know what you guys think i mean did i miss anything or any um, news in here that you're finding out for the first time that you're hearing a lot of people don't know about wanting to really keep it under 10 percent, and even just number one like i said i wasn't really thinking about it. i think i was but i wasn't you know i think i was more so just looking at the bigger picture but like they said individual credit cards matter as well so like this video if you haven't yet subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell that way you guys can stay up to date on all of our latest videos and of course while you are down there leave a comment letting me know your thoughts about this little credit card usage information where you're familiar with everything here is this news to you hopefully you guys can apply it to your particular 
regardless situation and help improve your credit score, which will help you with moving forward in your financial independence journey as we all strive for financial freedom, which is what I usually say on my Make, Manage, Grow Money channel. But we're not on that channel today. We're on Ace Spencer. But on this channel, I'll let you guys know, I appreciate you spending some time with us and watching this video. So there you guys have it. I hope you found this video helpful and hopefully you can apply some of this information to your personal individual situation. So on that note, you already know I got to keep it moving, but I'll see you in the next video. Peace.